Wow, I can't believe I just said that. If only I had thought before I spoke. How many times have you said something you regretted simply because you didn't take the time to first think about what you were going to say? Thinking before you speak is a powerful skill that can make you sound a whole lot smarter and a whole lot more polished. If that sounds useful to you, stick around because I'm gonna walk you through a helpful framework for thinking before speaking. What's up, Explorers? Mary Daphne here of MyExplorning.com, where we believe a richer life begins with better communication. Today, we're talking about how to think before you speak. Too often, when someone asks us a question, we blurt out a response before even thinking about it, or even thinking it through. Or maybe in the heat of the moment, we say something without considering the impact it will have, right? These situations can make us feel embarrassed and frustrated at ourselves. And as we know from the last lesson, those types of feelings aren't good for keeping a positive mindset. Check out those videos. By contrast, when you think before you speak, your response is structured and organized, which is easier for the other person to understand you. And it makes you sound more authoritative and confident. When you sound authoritative and confident, people listen to you and they respect you. All good things. All right, so let's walk through my framework for thinking before speaking. One, repeat or paraphrase the question they just asked. Two, ask a clarifying question. Three, don't be afraid of a few seconds of silence, so pause. Four, present your response. All right, so let's take a look at what this framework does. First, by repeating what they asked, you ensure you heard them correctly. Then, by clarifying what they asked, you can get a bit more context about their question, which will help you formulate a more complete response. Now, the pause after that is a little bit tricky, I know, but it's really super important. People tend to be afraid of silence, which is why they just blurt things out in the first place. But by pausing, you give yourself the time to think. Even cooler, you increase their focus on you. So you have them on the edge of their seat, waiting for what you're gonna say next. It also demonstrates that you're putting real thought into your response. You're not just saying whatever comes to mind. Now, sometimes during this pause, They'll jump in and they'll say something. This is natural because they're also desperate to fill the silence. Well, that's perfect. That just bought you more time. Now you're ready to respond. You've collected your information and given your mind time to digest it. You might be surprised at how much thinking your mind can do when you give it a little time. Even if you aren't consciously thinking about your response. Just by letting it sit in your head and percolate for a few seconds, you are guaranteed to produce a much more compelling and persuasive answer. So that's all there is to it. RCPR, repeat, clarify, pause, respond. With this simple framework, you will dramatically improve the quality of your responses, be it in a meeting, a casual conversation, an interview, or on stage. When you sound good and when you feel good, people respect you. And so I really encourage you to commit this one to memory and let it become second nature. All right, Explorers, that's a wrap on this video. Add these strategies to your communication toolkit, try them out and make them your own. If you enjoyed this lesson, like, comment and share, it really helps support the Explorning community and all of the hard work that goes into this channel. And I will see you in my next lesson. Be Explorning.